Sometimes really strange and unexpected things can find themselves inside of animals. Oftentimes animals will eat something by mistake, or perhaps on purpose. They can't all be geniuses after all. And this gives us the glorious opportunity to show you some really disgusting videos. You're just gonna love it. But don't watch it while you're eating your dinner. From whale carcasses exploding all over the place to dogs eating underpants for a hobby, here are 20 weirdest things ever found inside animals. Number 20. Exploding Sperm Whales Okay, so straight out of the gate, here's a content warning. This is not only disgusting, but it's also very disturbing, and you'll probably throw up. So there you go, you've been warned. Back in 1997, a weird thing happened. They opened a whale, and you won't believe what they found inside. Five sperm whales beached themselves on an island north of Scotland, and there they die. Which really does suck rather a lot in and of itself, but what do you do with a dead whale carcass? Let alone five of them? That's a lot of stuff to leave rotting on your beach. So someone's really going to have to clean all of that up. And that's exactly what they tried to do. The people tasked with this responsibility set to work and began trying to cut up the massive mammals, but as they cut into them, something shocking happened. They actually exploded. Ew. It's really, really gross. But apparently this is because one of the things that happens to a beached whale is that it overheats, thus making a lot of stuff bubble up in there, and ultimately it acts like an enormous pressure cooker. I know it's quite horrific, but I did warn you. Anyways, <laughs> that's it now. Only 19 more horrible things to get through. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Python swallows entire beach towel. Vets step in to extract it. Snakes are generally into eating stuff that is at least alive when they start squashing it or swallowing it or whatever it is that snakes do with their dinner. But this snake, who goes by the improbable name of Monty, was having a funny five minutes when he swallowed this particular object. The python was taken to the Sash Animal Hospital in New South Wales and Australia, where it was then put under general anesthetic while the vets at the center attempted to unfurl the fabric and pry the entire beach towel that it had eaten out of its stomach. Now, I don't know about you, but watching the whole process on screen via a teeny weeny little camera attached to the tool that they used is not only kind of gross, but also oddly fascinating as well. How often do you get to look down the throat of a snake head first, and then live beyond the experience to remember how it looked? In the end, the doctors removed the towel pretty easily in a straightforward procedure, and lucky old Monty was released home that very same day. I wonder what else this snake will have a go at swallowing. Number 18. Cat Swallowed a Needle Well, you will probably lose your appetite in fairness. This eight-year-old short-haired cat who goes by the name of Callie had been right off her food for days. She was beginning to lose weight, was extra sleepy, and was actually hiding from her owners. Her owner was becoming increasingly concerned for the kitty's welfare, so off they popped to visit Dr. Streck at the Caring Hands Centerville. It's lucky that they did. Callie had a fever, and there was a wounded area at the bottom of her neck which she had caused to bleed by persistently scratching at it. Her breathing was pretty janky as well. Sometimes being an indoor cat makes for being a stupid cat. Without all the usual stuff to hunt and chase and explore, it's quite possible that cats get a little bit bored and will play with just about anything, even if they shouldn't. A cat playing with some thread, for example, might not notice a needle attached to it. You can kind of see how it might find itself on the wrong side of the cat or inside of the cat. It does make sense, I suppose, even if it is pretty weird. Number 17. Surgeons just found 915 metal coins inside this endangered green sea turtle. 
Be careful where you're tossing your wishes, not only because you might get what you wish for, but your coin might just be clogging up the local residents. This 25-year-old sea turtle was a victim of all the wishing that people insisted on doing. In her home of Thailand, she was not aware that humans had such dopey superstitions and could not apparently differentiate between coins and food. Well, she is a turtle, not a rocket scientist. And so, when people kept throwing coins into her living area, well, she just went about the business of eating them. In total, 915 of these coins wound up inside of this unfortunate creature. She was eventually found in a bit of a state, and presumably rather heavier and more jinglier than one might have expected her to be, and that's when she would be taken in for surgery. She was rather hilariously nicknamed Bank by her rescuers, and she was operated on by veterinarians, taking five surgeries surgeons over four hours of delicate work in order to remove all of the coins. The loose change had basically formed a huge heavy ball in her stomach, and it weighed an absurd 11 pounds, which had ultimately caused a crack in the turtle's ventral shell. This had led to a nasty infection, and she very nearly died as a result. Sea turtles that are not filled with coins will often live beyond 80 years of age if they're allowed to do so. We're all seemingly much more conscious about the damage that plastic does to wildlife when it's discarded at sea, but perhaps all this liberal coin tossing is no longer appropriate either. Number 16. Giant Catfish Trying to Eat a Turtle the giant catfish usually hunts at the bottom of the water. These big, weird-looking creatures are really short-sighted and have special barbs that are like sensors that they use to detect movements in the water so they can locate their prey without the need for good eyesight. But this particular catfish seems to have had eyes bigger than its stomach, or at least bigger than its mouth. This crazy footage shows the moment when some people realize that this catfish seems to be choking on something, so that's when they take a closer or look. It was only a ruddy turtle that had gotten wedged in place. Both creatures were in a right pickle, and frankly it would end them both if someone had not intervened and sorted out the madness. The people did try to coax the catfish to the shore using paddles, but that doesn't really work on a catfish, because those guys are jerks. It's like herding catfish. Next they tried pulling the turtle out, but it was jammed deeply in there. Eventually, they kind of hoisted the catfish ashore, and ultimately it would die. So that kind of sucked for that fish, but there you go. The lesson is, you shouldn't bite off more than you can chew. Number 15. Poor Monkey Cuckoo Swallowed a Dangerous Object if there's a surefire way to be bitten by a monkey, then this is probably it. You should never try this at home. This monkey seems to have some sort of foreign object wedged in its mouth somehow. I mean, it could be a marshmallow that it's saving for later. Or of course, it could be something that would choke a monkey to death. This concerned person set about risking all kinds of gross monkey diseases and disgusting infections by simply jamming their fingers into the monkey's mouth to try and retrieve the object. Now, obviously, the monkey is not exactly the best pleased about being interfered with in this manner and gets a little bit shiny about it all, as one would. Anyways, the video goes on for another five excruciatingly long minutes as the object refuses to budge and the monkey gets more and more cross about things. I mean, seriously, five minutes and I'm never getting that back? I hope you appreciate the heck out of this. The sacrifices I've made for your eyeballs, you just simply have no idea. Eventually, we witness the removal of a white thing from the monkey's face, and what it is, I can't say. Can you? I feel as though having spent so long watching this debacle, I at least deserve to know what the flip that was that caused all the kerfuffle in the first place. If you can tell me, then let me know in the comments down below, and thank you for your civic duty. Number 14. 5,000 year old arrowhead found in 750 pound alligator stomach. I don't like this one very much at all. 
The way that they found this ancient artifact inside of that alligator was by killing it to death and then slicing it open. No delicate surgical procedures to look after this reptile's welfare. Just a murder and mutilation instead. Hunted and killed in the Mississippi, this 13-foot alligator was hiding some treasures in its belly, and it was likely rather uncomfortable, but probably a bit more manageable condition than death. So feel free to watch and wonder as the 750-pound beauty of an alligator is dispensed with and the discovery of an ancient arrowhead is found super exciting. Anyways, they found ancient artifacts inside this poor creature's belly, and those artifacts included a piece of Native American weaponry that was believed to date from about 6000 BC. Number 13. Dog survives after eating 62 hair ties and 8 pairs of underwear. Some dogs are a whole lot more dopey than others. They just can't help it. But this one seems to take the biscuit and the underpants. After doing rather a lot of vomiting and diarrhea and not responding to any treatments, the dog was then taken off to have some x-rays completed. It was at this point that it became clear what the problem was. The dog had a huge ball of something in its stomach, and there was no way to tell what the mass was, so an operation had to occur. That was when the dog's unusual penchant for non-food items would become evident. Inside of the pooch, the vet discovered 62 hair bands, 8 pairs of underwear, 4 elastic bands, and a band-aid. Ew. Just what possesses a black Labrador to eat so many of these things is the question, isn't it? It's almost too bizarre to be true. Number 12. Scientists discovered a new species of ant inside of frog vomit. The indignity of it all. Imagine the moment where you, a previously unknown creature, are finally discovered and given an official name and such, except that the place you're found in is another creature's puke. This is not how you imagine this significant event. But that's just how it went down for the new tropical ant species that was recently discovered in Ecuador. It has a fancy and utterly unpronounceable Latin name, but not much else is really known about it yet, except that it may have made a frog throw up, of course. Anyways, the frog in question was a bright orange devil frog, which dwells in the forest of Ecuador. Scientists were surprised to find some Something completely new in such a weird place, and there was only one of them, and it was dead. So it's yet to really offer up a whole lot of clues about itself. What they've established from studying this single specimen is that it has elongated mouth parts, which the scientists imagine are used to help it catch food, but otherwise, the mystery continues on until the next frog chunders. Number 11. Cat has eaten a massive amount of foreign objects. Again with the indoor cats and their dumb stuff. Honestly, keeping cats inside and leaving your crap long about is just an invitation for your dumb as a box of rocks feline to eat anything that it can find. You might not think that this is likely. You may think that your kitty is just a clever cat. But really, these animals are dopes, and they get massively bored if they can't go outside and act like a fierce lion. So then they begin experimenting. And if they don't, then they're probably just plotting how they're going to murder you in your sleep and then eat your dead corpse. So either way, this is probably not the greatest situation for anyone involved. Here's a dopey female cat who arrived at the vet to be spayed. She had only ever been indoors and had evidently lost her marbles as a result. And so she had taken to eating anything and everything she could find. Not because she was hungry, but for reasons unknown. She especially seemed to favor eating stuff that was made of plastic, which as you may or may not know is fairly tricky to digest, so she had just gotten sort of clogged up with it all. After they had done her initial pre-op check at the vet, they discovered that before she could have any other procedures, this cat would need an operation to remove all that junk from her stomach. Weirdly enough, the cat had not seemed to even notice that she was actually stuffed full of foreign objects. Number 10. Shark suffocates on porcupine fish. 
Sometimes even sharks overestimate the size of their own massive greedy shark appetites, and this one is definitely a bit off more than he could chew. There are some meals that are risky to eat, you know, stuff like fugu or the deadly puffer fish for people, or even anything from a buffet that's been sitting out 90 degrees for four hours. But for a shark, a risky meal might include one of these spiny porcupine fish. These fish are especially hard to swallow, what with being all pointy and sharp and basically designed to put off any would-be predator with all their nasty prickles. But unfortunately for this shark, it decided long ago to try and eat it anyways. The spiky fish got hooked up halfway down the shark's throat, and then it was curtains for the pair of them. This unfortunate abortive meal took place in the warm tropical waters just off the coast of the Maldives, a popular super fancy vacation spot in the Indian Ocean. This would have been a lot less than appealing sight when the dead shark washed up on the beach all choked to death and clogged up, and it's not fancy or posh at all. Number 9. Family Dog Swallows 19 Baby Pacifiers there's a weird logic to this one. If a dog sees a pacifier being shoved into a baby's mouth all the live long day, it might imagine that this is what these things are for and then put them into their own mouth as well. It really does make sense. About as much sense as stuffing up a baby with one anyways. And so, the dog, who goes by the name of Mortimer, was having some tummy complaints. His owner took him to the vet, but they weren't too troubled by the situation. It didn't seem like anything especially serious to them. So they figured that all that puking that Mortimer was doing would probably stop on its own at some point, or at least they hoped that it would. An excellent diagnosis, doctor. But eventually the sickness was so bad that poor old Mortimer was no longer the same dog. He spent almost all of his time sleeping, probably on the account of being completely pacified. And so then they all began to really worry about him. He stopped eating and so something had to be done. They did an x-ray and that's when they discovered that there was a big blockage inside the dog's digestive system. The vet team performed an endoscopy and removed the pacifiers from the dog's insides. What a relief. Number 8. Plastic Fork Removed from Olive Ridley's Nose who the heck is this Olive Ridley, and why does she have a plastic fork up her nose? She sounds like someone's grandmother for Pete's sake. But apparently, and this is news to me as well, Olive Ridley are a type of turtle. Who knew? Probably all the lot of you. I know you're all extremely clever. Anyways, somehow or another, an Olive Ridley turtle in Costa Rica managed to get a plastic fork stuck right up in the schnoz. A decidedly uncomfortable, not to mention rather embarrassing sort of scenario. Anyways, it turns out that some slightly over-enthusiastic visitor was equipped with a Swiss army knife and a whole lot of courage, deciding that rather than take the sad-looking turtle out for proper care at an animal medical facility, this was a couple of hours' drive away, that instead of that obvious choice, they would perform a rudimentary plastic fork removal themselves. Well, gosh, I do hope that they wash their hands. Number 7. Dog has five golf balls removed from stomach after swallowing them on walks. Again, dogs can sometimes not tell the difference between stuff you can eat and stuff you can't, especially the kind of dog that are 99% enthusiasm and 1% common sense. Like this Springer Spaniel Labrador mix. Louie, the dog, went for many walks near his home with his owner Rebecca. They often took a route that passed near a golf course, and so being a dog, if Louie happened to find a golf ball, he would generally pick it up. But Rebecca said that he was obedient and would drop it again when told to do so. So she really couldn't understand or figure out how the next part of the story had happened. One day, Louis began to get sick. He lost his appetite and was suffering from lethargy, and he was no longer that bouncy and enthusiastic dog that he'd been before. And so Rebecca took him to the vet, where an x-ray revealed just what it was that had been causing him the difficulties. His stomach was actually full of golf balls. Now that's going to clog up anyone's insides, in fairness. Louis had somehow managed to swallow no fewer than five golf balls, so surgery was performed and the dog was expected to make a full recovery. Number 6. Python Swallows and Then Vomits Whole Pet Cat in Thailand this one is absolutely disgusting and gross on every single level, so you better brace yourself. 
I hope there's not a graphic video attached for you, or you may lose your own lunch. Snakes are a fact of life in Thailand. They do seem to just turn up everywhere, and there really isn't a whole lot that you can do about it. For the most part, though, they slither through without an enormous kerfuffle. Nuts sometimes, an especially rude snake will do something quite revolting, like this one that busted into a home in Bangkok and scoffed up the pet cat. That cat, whose name was Bobo, was missed by its owner, and that's when she went looking for it, but came across a really fat python with an especially suspicious bulge in the area under the sink. And so the woman called the authorities, who arrived promptly, and made the snake puke by slinging it around a little bit. It was too late for the poor old departed Bobo, though. He was regurgitated, but definitely dead by that point. It's probably for the best. Can you imagine how much therapy you would need if you got swallowed by a snake and then puked back up again? Ew. Number five, huge bot fly removed from inside a kitten's eyeball. The bot fly is a filthy, nasty, parasitic fly that burrows under the skin of its host and feasts upon their flesh. These revolting creatures lay eggs under the skin, and the larvae that hatch will live under there, gorging themselves silly, growing huge, bulbous. The larvae then reach a certain size and begin to move about, causing discomfort and often sharp pain to the host body. This is often when the host will notice enough of what's going on to try and do something about this parasite, and if there's a maggot in your body, it's probably time to have that removed, I'd say. And this is what seems to have happened here. The kitten was unfortunate to be the host of this disgusting botfly larva. Well, to be precise, the kitten's eyeball was the host. As if that's not horrifying enough to think about, I think that we're actually going to show it to you. Mmm. I really sincerely hope that you're not eating your dinner right now, or that you don't plan on eating ever again in your entire life, because this has to be the most off-putting thing ever. Anyways, you'll be pleased to hear that the kitten was given medication and was expected to be just fine in the end. You, however, my friend, will likely never be the same. Try unseeing this one. Number four, the cheek pouch is being evacuated. <laughs> I honestly think we've just gone too far by now. Nobody needs or even wants to witness all of these intolerably gross things now, do they? I mean, do you? How are you finding all of this repulsive viewing? Is it what you were hoping for when you woke up this morning? Do you look forward to a lot of animal surgery and disgusting mysterious chunk removals in your internet video viewing? If so, then I suppose you're in the right place. I, on the other, may not be. And you're likely aware that hamsters have cheek pouches, right? They use these things to store the food that they eat so that they can carry it from place to place and bring extra food home for their lunches later. Built-in doggy bags, if you will. They also serve the additional function of making our pet hamsters look super cute when their cheeks are all chubby like that. But sometimes there are hamsters who don't empty their cheek pouches again, or they stuff them up so much that they get a bit clogged up. Like this poor little guy who had to have a mini surgery, apparently to remove a hard compacted lump of heaven knows what. That grossness did happen. I just hope something better is next. Number three, this mako shark had a sea lion's head in its stomach. Oh great, a double whammy of disgusting. This time we're going to be witnessing a mako shark's last meal, if you can stomach it. It was a sea lion apparently, and its head was still there, half digested to prove it. The macabre sight of a huge 1300 pound mako shark strung up by its tail is the ultimate result for a group of shark fishermen from Huntington Beach, Los Angeles. These guys get together for a spot of shark fishing about 20 days out of the year. Sometimes they get lucky, sometimes the shark gets luckier. On this particular day back in 2013, they took the boat out into the waters off the California coast and sprinkled some of what they call their secret sauce onto the surface. This sauce consists of the shark enticing combination of chopped up mackerel and ground up chum. Mmm, delicious. Fairly quickly, there was an interested customer. A whopping great mako shark was circling, looking for some tasty treats. The fisherman then hooked the shark and spent two and a half hours wrestling the colossal creature into the boat. Johnston, the boat's captain, said afterwards that it was the scariest thing that he'd ever done in his life. 
You just gotta wonder how the shark felt about it. Number two, snake swallows golf ball. Now, I don't know what you think, but I'm beginning to suspect that golf balls are causing rather a lot of trouble in the animal kingdom. Untidy humans are leaving all their old balls willy-nilly scattered across the landscape for poor unsuspecting animals to come along and swallow. It is really rather careless, isn't it? To a snake, a golf ball looks like an egg. That's actually how this snake came to swallow it. It was supposed to look like an egg, but not to a snake, rather to the hen who was supposed to see it and get the idea to lay her eggs in the nest box. But unfortunately, a black snake would find its way into the space and then scoffed up the golf ball. People discovered that it went ahead and did a little bit of home snake relief. They wiggled that poor unfortunate creature about a bit and gradually squeezed the ball back up so that the snake would regurgitate it. Mmm, lovely. But the snake survived and scarpered pretty quickly after that experience, probably vowing to leave hen houses well alone in the future and definitely avoid any humans that might poke and squeeze it until it barfs. Number 1. Fisherman Finds an Unopened Bottle of Whiskey Inside a Fish Sometimes there really are weird things inside of animals that simply can't be properly explained, and sometimes there are internet videos to illustrate these points. So here you are, you lucky devils. Have a look inside of a fish, why don't you? After hauling in their catch for the day, a group of fishermen were on the deck of their vessel. One young guy was busy filleting some of the day's catch when he happened upon a rather unusual surprise inside the fish that he was preparing. While the video began with a chap simply showing off his knife skills, and you know those are ten a penny on the old YouTube, everyone knows a fast chopper these days. The scene soon turns into something at least a little left of center when he found a glass bottle nestled inside the fish. Just how it found its way in there, well that's anybody's guess. Probably something fishy. But at this point in the proceedings, do you even care? Anyways, it turned out to be an unopened bottle of fireball cinnamon whiskey. What a fun one. It turns out that animals will eat just about anything, so we should probably be more careful about what we leave lying around. And if you keep losing stuff, like say, 19 baby pacifiers or all of your underpants, maybe check inside of the dog, just to make sure. Has your pet ever eaten anything weird? Tell me all about it in the comments section down below, but please, be gentle. I just about lost my own lunch telling you about all of this disgusting stuff. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.